Hi, I'm Mark from LM Small Engine. Today we're working on the Dixon Speed ZTR 42 inch. Uh, I was called out to the house to pick this lawnmower up, and as you can see, it's in pretty bad shape. One of the handles broke off, no gas cap. It was sitting under a grove of oak trees, and there's acorns all over it. Then on the back here, I'll show you on the back here, looks like the gas was leaking out of the carburetor onto the muffler because the whole top of the muffler is all yellow and tarnished like gas was leaking on it. But as you can see, sat outside for a long time and there's no gas cap on it. So this is start, starting on the, on the fuel system, I guess. Clean the gas tank out, clean the carburetor and make sure we get a start and we'll work on the rest of it. So anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, I'm going to take this engine protector off there's two bolts on the side and one in the center get that out of the way that way i have plenty of room to work we're going to go ahead and take the top off take the shroud off and everything so we're going to take this carburetor off so you can see leaking gas on the muffler so something's definitely wrong then when he tears apart what i got over here is i got like a little, little card table we're going to put everything on so we don't lose no nuts or bolts or anything that way you can keep everything together. So we'll go ahead and take the air filter cover off. And there's two quarter inch screws we gotta take out over here. And we'll take the cover off the flywheel. Them are five sixteenths. There's four of them. All these bolts on the side here, we're only taking them out like halfway, and they can slide this thing up. But the two front ones are 7 sixteenths on this one for some reason, but normally they're all 3 eighths. I'm going to use my air wrench. Right? It's kind of noisy, but I'll pop these all loose. <laughs> these two in the front, they must have lost the bolts. They got 7 sixteenths. With a bunch of washers. I'm gonna put the regular original bolts back in and we put it back together again. And then it just should slide straight up. Sometimes on these hoses that go to the from the fuel pump the carburetor get cracked and it leaks there. This one's hard and stiff, we'll replace it, but there's no cracks. Just gotta kinda figure out while well, that gas is leaking on the muffler. Good way to start a fire. And on the other top side, make sure there ain't no mouse nests on top of the cylinders. And make sure they're not full of dirt and oil. That's what keeps the motor nice and cool. So we'll go ahead and plug this fuel shutoff solenoid. So we'll plug in right here, we'll take that off. You gotta unhook the choke. Put that out of the way. I jacked the back end of this lawnmower up so it's easy to work on. And plus, I want to crawl underneath and check the transmission belt and all the idler pulleys and stuff like that. And there's four 3 8 inch bolts to hold this intake on. Right, two underneath. Now we got to unhook the governor, unhook this little vent on the back, and unhook the governor right, right here, and there we go. Should pop them two spark plugs out and see how it was burning. Got no gas cap on there, kind of worries me about how long was it off, and but we're just gonna, I'm going to take that gas tank off, clean it out. Probably put a new fuel line on to at least the fuel filter. That looks in pretty bad shape. It's burning kind of kind of lean. It's burning all right, but it's burning kind of lean. See how that side burning a little bit on the rich side. See the difference? Like one of the, one of the like this jet might be clogged up a little bit on the carburetor. There's a two barrel carburetor. It's a good thing we're doing it this way. We're going to make sure it's fixed right and they have no problems with it. I ordered a gas cap for it. It won't be here till next week. But I'm going to take this gas tank off. 
clean out real good and replace the fuel line. So let's go over the bench and tear that carburetor apart. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take the carburetor off the intakes. And there's these four, seven, 16 inch nuts on the back. Got this gasket here. Just be careful you don't rip it, but if you do, them gaskets don't cost that much, but we gotta take these four bolts out. The heads are Torx. I was kind of loosen them to try breaking that gasket loose. There you go, that's how you kind of save that gasket. Okay. And unhook the choke linkage. And here's for our governor. Go and pop it off so we don't lose it. Someone sat this apart because them are not the original screws to hold that on. But before I like taking this apart, I like just kind of like want to take a screwdriver and mark it. So you know which way that goes on there. Uh, spray this off a little bit, get some of this dirt off of it. Tease them around there tight. Oh, it looks nice and clean in there. Surprised. And your two jets are under this o ring here. Just be careful so you don't lose them. Definitely needs a new needle. Will be nice and triangled, and it has like a big indentation in it. There we go. There's little O-rings on the bottom of the jets. Make sure they're there. The black ring on there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and boil this thing out. The jets don't look bad, but there's a reason why it's one cylinder is getting more gas than the other. So I'm going to boil that thing out. I'm going to come back and put it back together again. Go ahead and plop them in here. I do it for 20 minutes. Okay, when that's done, we'll put the car back together. Okay, I just took it out of the carburetor cleaner. Now we're going to go put it back together again. And on these jets here, I like taking like a little wire. Just make sure they're nice and clean. Press them in that plastic all the way. And this O-ring here, that's what holds them in. There's like a little place on the bottom of the bowl right there where it slides onto. If it's like getting flat or something, replace it. These here, they look like they're in pretty good shape. Okay, I'm going to put a new needle in there this one there don't look that good and then i put that mark on the ball be careful don't turn this upside down or else some jets this could fall out Press it in there and pull pressure on that while you get you get these screws kind of halfway snug. Put our governor linkage on. Uh, 
and our choke linkage. Get them all nice and snug. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on the engine. Okay, we're gonna hook that governor linkage up first. And make sure these orange rubber gaskets are intact on both sides if there's a crack or whatever. Replace them because air will suck in there and it won't run right. Let me go ahead and tighten them all up. I'm going to hook up that solenoid real quick. I don't want to forget about that. This is not going to start. You know, say, oh, geez, I got to tear it all apart again. Look our choke. Cable back up here. I'm going to replace this line right here. It's it's not cracked, but it's really hard. Just prevent later on. This little vent hose back here. Just press it back in there. Okay, I'm going to put new spark plugs in it. I'm going to change this line, and I'm going to lower it down, and I'm going to change oil and everything in it. And I'm going to check, inspect the belts. Well, i got to take the gas tank off and clean it and put new fuel in there. Then we'll try starting it and see what it sounds like. Okay, i got a new fuel line here. There, I feel a lot safer about that. Let's put our new plugs in. And for these, I got them gapped at 35 thousandths. Then roll the covers off, inspect your teeth on the flywheel, inspect the teeth on the electric starter. Make sure on the coil wires and stuff, mice haven't chewed through them or stuff like that. Okay, we're going to put that shroud on now. Make sure it slides into place there. I'm going to put our two screws in. Now we can tighten all the bolts on the side. I'll put our flywheel cover on. Throw our new air filter in there. Okay, now I'm going to take that gas tank off, blow it off, and replace that fuel line from the tank to the fuel filter here. So, And I'm going to lower it down and drain the oil. So. Okay, I sharpened the blades. I greased all the zerks on the spindles and the front tires and everything. And I had to replace the key switch. The other key switch was bad. And the fuse was all corroded, so I had to put a different fuse assembly on it. Put a new battery in there. Brand new fuel line. Cleaned out the tank. Like I said, the gas cap won't be here till the middle next week. So, but anyways, should be ready to go. I got got the fuel line all primed up and everything. So, let's see if we can start her up. Well, then I put that new piece on the handle too. The other one was broke off of there too. Forgot about that. So, let's see if it comes back to life. Make sure the brake's on. Choke on.
Well, it's working like brand new again. I just wish I didn't leave it outside out in that tree grow for a couple years, but brought it back to life anyways. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate you watching. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please subscribe. Anyways, you have a good afternoon. Bye.